Uh, so today will be lesson 21. And the first problem says, simplify the following expression, show your work. So for number one, we see that there are um, uh, two variables, an X and a Y. But then when we're when we're adding with uh exponents, we're supposed to uh you're supposed to find which uh terms have the same exponent. So if we see here, um, x and three x squared, three x and three x squared is not the same thing. So we'll just leave this equation as it is. Um, for this one, we can combine them because we had the same variables. So we can see that y have two of the same variables and so does x. So we can do 72 minus 48 and then we'll get 24y with that variable and 8x plus 8x will be 16x. The reason why we can't add 24y and 16x is because they have different variables. For this one, we can distribute. So we can do 3x times 4x, which will be 12x squared plus 15x. Then for number 4, we can combine 2y and then negative 3x. For number 5, same thing. We can distribute 28x plus 63 plus 8x. We still have two terms that we can add up. So we'll do 36x plus 63, which will leave us with our fully simplified expression. For this one, 22y plus 33y is 55y plus 11x. It says evaluate the following equation, show your work. So in PEMDAS, this is parentheses, this is exponents, this is multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So when we're looking over here, uh, the reason why we can't do 5 plus 5 and which would be 10 and then 10 divided by 2 is because it doesn't follow the PEMDAS order. So if you see here, there aren't any parentheses. There are no exponents. There are no, there's no multiplication, but there is division. So we can divide. We can divide 5 divided by 2 first. So we'll get 5 plus 2.5 plus 2. And then we can start adding all of them. We'll get 7.5 plus 2, and then we'll get 9.5. For this one, we can add the insides because of parentheses. We need parentheses. So it'll be 5 squared minus 15, which is also 25 minus 15, which is 10. For this one, it'll be 144 divided by 3, and we'll get 4. 4, uh, 12, 1, 2, 4, 8, 48. And then 4, okay. <clears throat> Gonna clear this up and still have that. So 11 squared is gonna be 121. Then you add 2 cubed, which is 8. We get 129. For this one, um, I don't really need to solve what's in the parentheses because I know that anything to the zero power will always equal one. So one minus 31 will get me negative 30. For this, 17 times four plus three times eight. 17 times four will be 68 plus 24, which will be 92. For here, 20 minus 17, which is 3. Simple as that. 
to the word problems, it says Patrick want to purchase a jacuzzi to install his house in his house. If the jacuzzi is five thousand dollars, the shipping fee is ten dollars of the jacuzzi's price. The tax is six dollars of the jacuzzi price, and the installation fee is forty dollars. What is Patrick's total? So we see here that it's starting at a five thousand dollar five thousand dollar price, and the shipping fee is ten percent. Tax is six percent. And the fee is fit to forty percent. So we know that it's five thousand to start with, plus our forty dollars. So we add forty. But then we still have to find the shipping fee and we have to find the tax. So it's ten percent of the jacuzzi price. So ten percent of five thousand will be five hundred. And six percent of five thousand will be three hundred. The reason I know this is because we can do five thousand. And multiply it by this number. 10% can also be written as 0 0.1. So I can multiply by 0 0.1. And all we have to do for this is just move the decimal place. So that's how I got 500. And the reason I got 600 is because of the tax. Same thing, 5,000 times 6% written as a decimal is 0 0.06. And then that'll give us 300 if you do the math. So 500 and 300 added together. So this will be the whole fee, including the original price, plus the shipping fee, plus the tax, plus the installation fee. So we'll get 5,840, 8, 5, which is our answer B. It says, Ashley wants to see if she can drive back home in one day, depending on the traffic. It usually takes 46 hours to arrive home. Four being 0% traffic and six being all clogged with traffic, 100%. She needs to be stopped two times for 10-minute breaks. Assuming that the traffic severity is 50%, how long would Ashley take to drive down? So it's saying that it takes her four to six hours to arrive home and four hours being no traffic, six hours being 100% traffic. So if we see that uh, the traffic severity is 50%, then they'll, so four and six, which is 0% and 100%. If Ashley is going 50%, then it should be in the middle, which should also mean that it should, uh, she should be driving at five, five hours. So since we know that, she's going to be driving five hours. But we also know that she needs to stop two times for 10 minute breaks, which will slow her down her ride home. So two times 10 is 20. So 20 minutes. So we'll, she'll arrive in five hours and 20 minutes, which is C. That's about it for today.